If you want to create cinematic, photorealistic environments in Blender, you'll find yourself needing background assets a lot of the time. And sometimes sites like Sketchfab or CG Trader don't have the right models, or you have to pay for them, which isn't what you want to do for a background asset. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can model any object for the background of your scene in the quickest and simplest way possible. So let's get into it. So first, you just go to Google and you look up what you want to model. Just grab a picture. Once you save the image, add it in, images as planes. Make sure you have images as planes enabled. It's a native Blender add-on. Now what we're just gonna do is we're gonna add in a mesh that is the most similar to what we wanna model. So here it would be a cylinder, shuck that in. Now you wanna model this asset based on your reference. So just start scaling it down and dragging it around. And then you can just go into edit mode, extrude, scale, inset, extrude again, and do this until you have the basic shape. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of the detail is gonna come from the image. Just for example, with this brush here, I might just wanna add in another cylinder instead of having to do some weird modeling trick, just add in another primitive and just use that as this bottom part of the brush. So next what we wanna do is we wanna go into edit mode, select everything with A, and then move our camera into the approximate position that you think this photo was taken in. So maybe something like this, and then you wanna hit U and then go project from view. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a UV map based on uh, how we're looking at it right now. Next, we're gonna add in a new material because we've got our UV map now. I'm gonna press control T, make sure you have your node wrangler add-on enabled. I'm just gonna press this button here and just look up the name of your picture. So now what we're gonna do is gonna go into material preview just to see what it looks like. We're gonna go back into edit mode and we're gonna change our UV editor over here to squeegee. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select these UVs. And because these UVs are already in the shape of the object in the image, we can almost just rotate it and scale it. And it's already going to line up pretty well. However, to get finer control, what you can do if your geometry is simple is hold alt and left click one of these rings and then hold shift. And you can kind of just do that. So you select this part of your object. And then in the UV editor here, you can just drag it and line it up so it fits perfectly. So just do this for the rest of your object, pressing L to select linked objects, for example, here, and we can just do that and scale it up to fit it properly. Now, don't worry if it doesn't line up perfectly and it looks a bit weird. Remember, this is a background asset, so as long as the colors are fine and it's the general texture, it'll be fine. And also, if some parts don't seem to have unwrapped in the right way, you can always just select them again and go U, project from view, so maybe the rotation's a bit better or the scale works. So once you've done that and you're happy with how the UVs are looking, you're basically done. You can use this color and plug it into the roughness or the bump map into the normal, just to add a little bit more variation to it. But otherwise, it's pretty much done. It's an extremely simple method and it can be used to model anything for your background assets. For example, I modeled this broom here doing the same thing, just getting a picture, modeling some basic shapes and UV projecting. Same for this like, gas water can thingy majiggy and I'll just show you the final render here because it looks perfectly fine so yeah here's a test render here and you can see it doesn't look out of place or like low quality or anything it just blends in and does its job because it has the same shape and the same colors as a real one so yeah that's the basic technique you find a picture of what you want to model you put it in the background of your scene you model some basic shapes you UV project it up and you're done it's a really simple and easy quick way to make these background assets for your scenes. So hopefully that helped you and hopefully you can make some cooler background assets for your environments. I'll have a video up on how I made this environment soon. There's also going to be a whole animation with that. So look out for that. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, comment and keep going with Blender. You got this.